Chapter 1 Heredity and Evolution Students, in this chapter we shall learn some important topics like Heredity and Hereditary Changes Transcription, Translation and Translocation Evolution Evidences of Evolution Darwin's Theory of Natural Selection Lamarckism Speciation Human Evolution So, let's begin. Can you recall? 1. Which component of the cellular nucleus of living organisms carries hereditary characters? Answer. DNA of living organisms carries hereditary characters. 2. What do we call to the process of transfer of physical and mental characters from parents to the progeny? Answer. The process of transfer of physical and mental characters from parents to the progeny is called heredity. 3. Which are the components of the DNA molecule? Answer. DNA has three types of chemical components. Phosphate, a sugar called deoxyribose and four nitrogenous bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Heredity and hereditary changes You know that heredity is the transfer of biological characters from one generation to another via genes. Johann Gregor Mendel is pioneer of the modern genetics. Around the period of 1886, it took a long time for him to understand the conclusions of his research about heredity. In 1901, the reasons behind the sudden changes were understood due to the mutational theory of Hugo de Vries. Meanwhile, in 1902, Walter Sutton and Theodore Boveri observed the paired chromosomes in the cells of grasshopper. Until then, it was not known to anyone. Then what happened? Well, research started in the direction of finding the nature of genetic material when it was proved that genes are carried via chromosomes. Through which, 1944 trio of scientists Oswald Every, McLean McCarthy and Colin McLeod proved that except viruses, all living organisms have DNA as genetic material. In 1961, the French geneticists François Jacob and Jack Monad proposed a model for process of protein synthesis with the help of DNA in bacterial cells. It helped to uncover the genetic codes hidden in DNA. Thereby, the technique of recombinant DNA technology emerged, which has vast scope in the field of genetic engineering. The science of heredity is useful for diagnosis, treatment and prevention of hereditary disorders, production of hybrid varieties of animals and plants, and in industrial processes in which microbes are used. Can you tell? 1. Sketch and explain the structure of DNA and various types of RNA. Answer. DNA consists of two strands which are anti-parallel to each other. Each strand consists of molecules called nucleotides. Each nucleotide contains a phosphate group, a sugar molecule and a nitrogen base. The bases on one strand pair with the bases of another strand. That is, adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cytosine. These nitrogenous bases are joined with each other by weak hydrogen bonds. There are three types of RNA, each encoded by its own type of gene. mRNA, messenger RNA, encodes amino acid sequence of a polypeptide. T 
tRNA transfer RNA brings amino acids to ribosomes during translation rRNA ribosomal RNA with ribosomal proteins makes up the ribosomes the organelles that translate the mRNA 2 explain the meaning of genetic disorders and give names of some disorders answer a genetic disorder is a genetic problem caused by one or more abnormalities in the genome especially a condition that is present from birth example down syndrome arthritis diabetes cancer obesity transcription translation and translocation with the help of rna the genes present in the form of dna participate in the functioning of cell and thereby control the structure and functioning of the body information about protein synthesis is stored in the dna and synthesis of appropriate proteins as per requirement is necessary for body these proteins are synthesized by dna through the rna this is called as central dogma mrna is produced as per the sequence of nucleotides on dna only one of the two strands of dna is used in this process the sequence of nucleotides in mrna being produced is always complementary to the dna strand used for synthesis besides there is uracil in rna instead of thymine in dna this process of rna synthesis is called as transcription triplet codon the mrna formed in nucleus comes in cytoplasm it brings in the coded message from dna the message contains the codes for amino acids the code for each amino acid consists of three nucleotides it is called as triplet codon dr har govind khurana a scientist of indian origin has made an important contribution in discovery of triplet codons for 20 amino acids for this work he has been awarded with the nobel prize in 1968 along with two other scientists translation and translocation each mrna is made up of thousands of triplet codons as per the message on mrna amino acids are supplied by the trna for this purpose trna has anti codon having complementary sequence to the codon on mrna this is called as translation the amino acids brought in by trna are bonded together by peptide bonds with the help of rrna now during this process the ribosome keeps on moving from one end of mrna to other end by the distance of one triplet codon this is called as translocation what is it called translocation such many chains come together to form complex proteins these proteins control various functions in the body of living organisms and their appearance too so is it clear till here good let's move on mutation living organisms can produce new individuals like themselves due to genes only and some of those genes are transmitted to the next generation without any changes due to this some of the characters of parents are transmitted to their offsprings however sometimes sudden changes occur in those genes sometimes any nucleotide of the gene changes its position that causes a minor change which is nothing but the mutation mutation means sudden changes some mutations may be minor but some may be considerable example 
Mutation may cause the genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia. This is a everlasting process and it is one of the proof for Darwin's theory of natural selection. Everlasting process means continuing for a long time or indefinite time. Can you recall? 1. What is the function of the appendix of a digestive system? Answer. The function of the appendix is unknown. But one theory shows that appendix acts as a storehouse for good bacteria, rebooting the digestive system after diarrheal illnesses. Thus, help us to keep healthy. 2. Are our wisdom teeth really useful for chewing the food? Answer. No. 3. Why did the huge animals like dinosaur become extinct? Answer. 1. A big meteorite crashed into Earth, changing the climatic conditions so dramatically that dinosaurs could not survive. 2. Ash and gas released from volcanoes suffocated many of the dinosaurs. This disease wiped out entire populations of dinosaurs. 3. Further, food chain imbalances led to the starvation of the dinosaurs. 4. Why are many species of animals and birds getting extinct? Answer. Human activity is the greatest cause of animals and birds extinction around the world. Some causes of animals and bird extinction involved by humans are the increase in human population, egg collection for food, climate change due to global warming, etc. Severe weather conditions and long seasons as well as chemical atmosphere within their surroundings makes it difficult for many species of animals and birds to keep up with. Evolution Evolution is the gradual change occurring in living organisms over a long duration. This is a very slow-going process through which development of organisms is achieved. All the stages and changes occurred in various components ranging from stars and planets in space to the biosphere present on the Earth should be included in the study of evolution. But what is evolution? Well, formation of new species due to changes in specific characters of several generations of living organisms as a response to natural selection is called as evolution. 3.5 billion years ago, life had been non-existent on the earth. At the beginning, there may have been only simple elements in the ocean, on the earth, and simple type of organic and inorganic compounds may have been formed from those. Complex compounds like proteins and nucleic acids may have formed over the long period from those simple compounds. First primitive types of cells may have been formed from the mixture of different types of organic and inorganic compounds. Number of those cells may have increased at the cost of surrounding chemicals. There may have been some differences among those cells and according to the principle of natural selection, some may have shown good growth and some may have perished which could not adjust with the surrounding. At present, crores of species of plants and animals with huge diversity regarding shape and complexity are present on the earth. Animal diversity ranges from the unicellular amoeba and paramecium to man and giant whale. The plant diversity consists of various species ranging from unicellular chlorella to the huge banyan tree. The life exists on Earth everywhere from equator to both the poles. Organisms are present at all the places like air, water, land, rock, etc. 
humans have shown curiosity about origin of life and reasons for such a great diversity in life present on the earth since ancient period different theories about origin and evolution of life have been proposed till today of which theory of gradual development of living organisms is accepted internet is my friend collect the information from internet about big bang theory related with the formation of stars and planets and present it in your class a peek into history many philosophers and religious scholars have written their views about formation of life there seems to be a thorough discussion over the formation of universe in various cultures like indian chinese roman greek etc various cultures have noted different type of information about planets stars the panch mahabhuta living organisms etc in the form of poetry stories and religious or sacred books theory of evolution according to this theory first living material that is protoplasm has been formed in ocean in due course of time unicellular organism was formed gradually changes occurred in the unicellular organisms from which larger and more complex organisms were formed all those changes were slow and gradual duration of all these changes is almost 300 crore years changes and development in living organisms has been all round and multidimensional and this led to evolution of different types of organisms hence this overall process is called as evolution which is organizational progressive development of plants and animals from the ancestors having different structural and functional organization is called evolution evidences of evolution collective thinking upon all above mentioned theories implies that evolution is everlasting process of changes however it needs proof to prove it following a various proofs available in support of the theories mentioned above 1 morphological evidences try this observe the following images and note the similarities between given animal images and plant images there are similarities like structure of mouth position of eyes structure of nostrils and ear pinnae and thickly distributed hairs on body are seen in animals whereas similarities in characters like leaf shape leaf venation leaf petiole etc occur in case of plants this indicates that there are some similarities in those groups and hence it proves that their origin must be same and must have common ancestors 2 anatomical evidences if you carefully observe the pictures there doesn't seem any superficial similarity between human hand cat's four leg flipper of whale and potassium of bat Yes there doesn't seem to be any similarity right Similarly use of each of those structures is different in respective animals However there is similarity in structure of bones and bony joints in organs of each of those animals This similarity indicates that those animals may have common ancestors Can you tell one which are the different organs in body of organisms answer brain lungs liver heart stomach large intestine 
small intestine, appendix, etc. are the different organs in body of organisms. 2. Is each of the organs useful to organisms? Answer. No. Organ-like appendix is a vestigial organ in human body. Use of ICT Collect the information of geological dating and present it in classroom. 3. Vestigial organs Degenerated or underdeveloped useless organs of organisms are called as vestigial organs. In living organisms, sudden development of new tissues or organs for living in changing environment is not possible. Instead, existing organs undergo gradual changes. Mostly, a specific structure in the body is useful under certain situation. However, same structure under different situation may become useless or even harmful. So what happens? Such structure begins to degenerate under such situation as per the principle of natural selection. This doesn't happen suddenly. It takes thousands of years for a structure to disappear. Such organs are seen in different phases of disappearance in different animals. Such organ, though non-functional in certain organisms, it may be functional in other organisms. That is, it is not vestigial in other organisms. Appendix, which is useless to human, is useful and fully functional organ in ruminants. Similarly, muscles of ear pinna, which are useless to human, are useful in monkeys for movement of ear pinna. Various vestigial organs like tailbone, wisdom teeth, and body hairs are present in body of human being. Observe and discuss. Observe the following pictures. Some fossils. Use of ICT. Find out how the vestigial organs in certain animals are functional in others. Present the information in your class and send it to others. There are certain organs which are vestigial in humans but functional in other animals. For example, coccyx, that is the tailbone. The tail is present in all mammals at some stage of the development. In humans, it is present during the embryonic stage but later it becomes vestigial. Whereas in animals, it is functional organ which helps them to maintain balance and mobility. Similarly, appendix is a vestigial organ in our digestive system which is non-functional. But in some mammals like rodents, primates, it helps in digesting cellulose and other such indigestible components of plants. 4. Paleontological Evidences A question may arise in your mind that which organisms existed millions of years ago? Yes, ever thought about this? How can we tell this? Now this secret has been hidden in the earth. Large number of organisms get buried due to disasters like flood, earthquake, volcano, etc. Remnants and impressions of such organisms remain preserved underground. Remnants means leftovers. These are called as fossils. Study of fossils is an important aspect of study of evolution. Carbon consumption of animals and plants stops after death and since then only the decaying process of C14 occurs continuously. In case of dead bodies of plants and animals, Instead of remaining constant, the ratio between C14 and C12 changes continuously as C12 is non-radioactive. The time passed since the death of a plant or animal 
can be calculated by measuring the radioactivity of C14 and ratio of C14 to C12 present in their body. This is carbon dating method. It is used in paleontology and anthropology for determining the age of human fossils and manuscripts. Paleontology is the branch of science concerned with fossils of animals and plants. Anthropology is the study of human societies and cultures and their development. Once the age of fossil has been determined by such technique, it becomes easy to deduce the information about other erstwhile organisms. Erstwhile means previous. It seems that vertebrates have been slowly originated from invertebrates. Invertebrates means an animal with no spine. Introduction to Scientists Carbon dating method is based upon the radioactive decay of naturally occurring C14 and it is developed by Willard Libby. He has been awarded with Nobel Prize in 1960 for this invention. The age of the materials determined by this method are published in the journal Radiocarbon. Observe and discuss. Observe the following pictures and discuss the characters observed. Characteristics of platypus. The platypus is an egg-laying mammal that is well adapted to the water. Physically, it looks like a mole or otter with a beaver's flattened tail and a duck's bill. It also has short, powerful legs and webbed feet. While the fur on its back is dense, bristly and reddish or blackish brown, the fur on its underbelly is soft and grey. Its eyes are very small and it does not have external ears. Characteristics of lungfish Lungfish is a living, air-breathing fish. It is characterized by plate-like teeth and lobed, faired pins with functional lungs and the caudal fin. Lungfishes are uniquely adapted to be able to survive in low oxygen water because of their ability to breathe air. Characteristics of Peripatus Peripatus is a nocturnal carnivore found living in moist places. The body of Peripatus is caterpillar-like. It is soft, elongated, bilaterally symmetrical and more or less cylindrical and ranges from 1.4 cm to 15 cm in length. 5. Connecting links Some plants and animals show some morphological characters by which they can be related to two different groups. Hence, they are called as connecting links. Example, in Peripatus, Characters like segmented body, thin cuticle and parapodia-like organs are present. Similarly, these animals show tracheal respiration and open circulatory system similar to arthropods. This indicates that peripatus is connecting link between annelida and arthropoda. Similarly, Duck-built platypus lays eggs like reptiles but shows relationship with mammals too due to presence of mammary glands and hairs. Lungfish performs respiration with lungs irrespective of being a fish. What do these examples show? Well, these examples indicate that mammals are evolved from reptiles and amphibians from fishes. Observe and discuss. Carefully observe the stages of embryonic development of some animals shown in figure. Here are embryos during different stages of fish, salamander, tortoise, chicken, pig, cow, rabbit, man. 6. Embryological Evidences Comparative study of embryonic developmental stages 
of various vertebrates given in the picture shows that all embryos show extreme similarities during initial stages and those similarities decrease gradually similarities in initial stages indicate the common origin of all these animals darwin's theory of natural selection charles darwin had collected innumerable specimens of plants and animals innumerable means countless and depending upon the observations of those specimens he published the theory of natural selection which preaches the survival of fittest for this purpose darwin had published a book titled origin of species while explaining the concept darwin says that all the organisms reproduce prolifically prolifically means fruitfully all the organisms compete with each other in a life threatening manner in this competition only those organisms sustain which show the modifications essential for winning the competition however besides this natural selection also plays important role because nature selects only those organisms which are fit to live and the rest perish sustaining and selected organisms can perform reproduction and thereby give rise to the new species with their own specific characters darwin's theory of natural selection was widely accepted for long duration However, some objections were raised against the theory. Some of the main objections are: one, natural selection is not the only factor responsible for evolution. Two, Darwin did not mention any explanation about useful and useless modifications. Three, there is no explanation about slow changes and abrupt changes. irrespective of all these objections darwin's work on evolution has been a milestone introduction to scientists charles robert darwin 1809 to 1882 this english biologist proposed the theory of evolution He showed that all the species of living organisms have been gradually evolved over the period of thousands of years from common ancestor. He proposed that principle of natural selection is responsible for this evolution. Introduction to scientists. Jean Baptiste de Lamar, 1744 to 1829. Lamarck proposed that the activities of the organisms are responsible for their evolution. This French naturalist proposed that each animal or plant undergoes some changes in its lifespan and those changes are transferred to the next generation and such changes occur in next subsequent generations too. Internet is my friend. collect the pictures and information of various species of monkeys from internet lemarkism jean baptiste de lemar proposed that morphological changes occurring in living organisms are responsible for evolution and the reason behind those morphological changes is activities or laziness of that organism He called this concept as principle of use or disuse of organs. Further, he said that the neck of giraffe has become too long due to browsing on leaves of tall plants by extending their neck for several generations. Similarly, shoulders of the iron smith have become very strong due to frequent hammering movements. Wings of birds like ostrich and emu have become weak due to no use legs of the birds like swan and duck have become useful for swimming due to living in water 
and snakes have lost their legs by modifications in their body for burrowing habit. All these examples are types of acquired characters and are transferred from one to another generation. This is called as theory of inheritance of acquired characters or Lamarckism. Development of organs due to specific activities or their degeneration due to no use at all was widely accepted. But transfer of those characters from generation to generation was rejected. Because it had been verified many times that modifications brought in us are not transferred to next generation and thereby Lamarck's theory was disproved. The living organism can transfer the characters which it has acquired to the next generation. This is called ancestry of acquired characters. Speciation Formation of new species of plants and animals is the effect of evolution. Species is the group of organisms that can produce fertile individuals through natural reproduction. Each species grows in specific geographical conditions. Their food, habitat, reproductive ability and period is different. However, genetic variation is responsible for formation of new species from earlier one. Besides, geographical and reproductive changes are also responsible. Similarly, geographical or reproductive isolation also leads to speciation. Human evolution The biodiversity that is known today has been said to be formed from very simple unicellular organisms due to evolution. In this evolution, origin of human evolution can be shown as per the picture given below. Last dinosaurs disappeared approximately 7 crore years ago. At that time, monkey-like animals are said to be evolved from some ancestors who were more or less similar to the modern lemurs. Tale of these monkey-like animals of Africa is said to be disappeared about 4 crore years ago. They developed due to enlargement in brain, their hands were also improved and thus ape-like animals were evolved. Meanwhile, these ape-like animals reached the South and Northeast Asia and finally evolved into gibbon and orangutan. Remaining ape-like animals stayed in Africa and from them, gorilla and chimpanzee evolved about 2.5 crore years ago. Evolution of some of the 2 crore year old species of apes seems to be occurred in different ways. They had to use their hands more for eating food and other work. Those apes started to live on land as the forests started to decline due to dry environment. Their lumber bones developed in such a way that they started to stand in erect posture in grasslands and thereby their hands became available for use anytime. These first Human-like animals with erect posture, which were using their hands, have evolved about 2 crore years ago. First record of human-like animal is with us in the form of Ramapithecus ape from East Africa. Afterwards, this ape grew up in size and became more intelligent and thus the ape of South Africa evolved about 40 lakh years ago. The morphology of these human-like animals started to appear like to be the member of the genus Homo about 20 lakh years ago and thus skilled human developed. About 15 lakh years ago, human walking with erect posture was evolved. 
It may have existed in China and Indonesia of Asian continent. Evolution of upright man continued in the direction of developing its brain for the period of about one lakh years and meanwhile it discovered fire. Brain of 50,000 year old man had been sufficiently evolved to the extent that it could be considered as member of the class wise man Homo sapiens. Neanderthal man can be considered as the first example of wise man. The Cro Magnon man evolved about 50,000 years ago, and afterwards, this evolution had been faster than the earlier. About 10,000 years ago, wise man started to practice agriculture. It started to rear the cattle herds and establish the cities. Cultural development took place. Art of writing was invented about 5,000 years ago and thus the history had been started. Modern sciences emerged about 400 years ago an industrial society was established about 200 years ago and now we have reached at this stage and still are searching the details of roots of human ancestry. Exercise Question number 1. Complete the following diagram. Answer Evidences of evolution Morphological Similarities in bone structure Paleontological vestigial organs. Question number two. Read the following statements and justify same in your own words with the help of suitable examples. A. Human evolution began approximately seven crore years ago. Answer. First, last dinosaur disappeared approximately seven crore years ago. Second, at that time, monkey-like animals were said to be evolved from some ancestors who were more or less similar to the modern lemurs. 3. Thus, human evolution began approximately 7 crore years ago. B. Geographical and reproductive isolation of organisms gradually leads to speciation. Answer 1. Species is the group of organisms that can produce Fertile individuals through natural reproduction. 2. Each species grow in specific geographical condition. Their food, habitat, reproductive ability and period is different. 3. Along with genetic variation, geographical and reproductive changes are responsible for formation of new species. 4. Hence, geographical and reproductive isolation leads to speciation. C. Study of fossils is an important aspect of study of evolution. Answer 1. Large number of organisms got buried due to disasters like flood, earthquake, volcano, etc. 2. Remnants and impressions of such organisms remain preserved underground. These are called as fossils. 3. With help of carbon dating technique, it is easy to determine the age of fossils. 4. Once the age of fossil has been determined, it becomes easy to deduce information about other erstwhile organisms. 5. Hence, study of fossils is an important aspect of study of evolution. D. There is evidences of fetal science among chordates. Answer. 1. It is believed that chordates have originated from invertebrates. Two. It is difficult to find out from which invertebrate group the chordates were developed. 3. Chordate ancestors were soft-bodied animals, hence they were not preserved as fossils. 4. Thus, there is evidence of fatal sands among chordates. Question number 3. Complete the statements by choosing correct options from the bracket. Gene, Mutation, Translocation, Transcription, Gradual Development Appendix A. The casualty behind the sudden changes was understood due to Dash principle of Hugo D. Rice Answer 
the causality behind the sudden changes was understood due to mutation principle of Hugo de Vries. B. The proof for the fact that protein synthesis occurs through dash was given by George Biddle and Edward Tatum. Answer. The proof for the fact that protein synthesis occurs through gene was given by George Biddle and Edward Tatum. C. Transfer of information from molecule of DNA to mRNA is called as dash process. Answer. Transfer of information from molecule of DNA to mRNA is called transcription process. D. Evolution means dash. Answer. Evolution means gradual development. E. Vestigial organ dash present in human body is proof of evolution. Answer. Vestigial organ appendix present in human body is a proof of evolution. Question 4. Write short notes based upon the information known to you. A. Lamarckism. Answer 1. Jean Baptist Lamarck proposed that morphological changes occurring in living organisms are responsible for evolution and the reason behind those morphological changes is activities or laziness of that organism. 2. The neck of giraffe has become too long due to browsing on leaves of tall plants by extending their neck for several generations. 3. Soldiers of iron smith have become very strong due to frequent hammering movements. 4. Wings of birds like emu and ostrich have become weak due to no use. 5. Legs of the birds like swan and duck have become useful for swimming due to living in water. 6. Snakes have lost their legs by modification in their body for burrowing habit. 7. All these examples are types of acquired characters and are transferred from one generation to another. This is called as Theory of Inheritance of Acquired Characters or Lamarckism 8. Development of organisms due to specific activities or their degeneration due to no use at all was widely accepted. But transfer of those characters from generation to generation was rejected. 9. Because it had been verified many times that modifications brought in us are not transferred to next generation, and thereby Lamarck's theory was disproved. B. Darwin's theory of natural selection. Answer 1. Charles Darwin, an English biologist, published the theory of natural selection, which preaches the survival of the fittest. 2. According to him, all organisms reproduce prolifically. 3. These organisms compete with each other and only those organisms who show modification sustain long. 4. Natural selection also plays important role because nature selects only those organisms which are fit to live and the rest perish. 5. These sustained and selected organisms reproduce and give rise to new species with own specific characters. 6. This theory was widely accepted for long duration However, it had some objection to it. 7. Irrespective of all these objections, Darwin's work on evolution has been a milestone. C. Embryology Answer 1. Embryology is the science which deals with the study of development of an organism from an embryo. 2. Comparative study of embryonic developmental stages of various vertebrate shows that all embryos have extreme similarities during initial stages and those similarities decrease gradually. 3. Similarities in initial stages indicate the common origin for all these animals. D. Evolution Answer 1. Evolution is a gradual change occurring in living organisms over a long duration. 2. This is a very slow going process through which the development of organisms is achieved.
थ्री ऑल द स्टेजेस इन चेंजेस अकर्ड इन वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स रेंजिंग फ्रॉम स्टार्स एंड प्लैनेट्स इन स्पेस टू द बायोस्पियो प्रेजेंट ऑन द अर्थ शुड बी इंक्लूडेड इन द स्टडी ऑफ एवोल्यूशन फोर formation of new species due to changes in specific characters of several generations of living organisms as a response to natural selection is called as evolution 5 different theories about origin and evolution of life have been proposed till today of which theory of gradual development of living organisms is accepted 6 according to this theory first living material that is protoplasm has been formed in the ocean in due course of time unicellular organism was formed seven gradual changes took place in unicellular organisms from which larger and more complex organisms were formed duration of all these changes is about 300 crore years eight changes and development in living organisms has been all around and multidimensional and this led to evolution of different types of organisms hence this overall process is called as evolution which is organizational 9 progressive development of plants and animals from the ancestors having different structural and functional organization is called evolution e connecting link answer 1 some plants and animals show some morphological characters by which they can be related to two different groups hence they are called connecting links 2 example in peripatus characters like segmented body thin cuticle and parapodia like organisms are present similarly these animals show tracheal respiration and open circulatory system similar to arthropods this indicates that peripatus is the connecting link between annelida and arthropoda 3 similarly duck bill platypus lays eggs like reptiles but shows relationship with mammals too due to presence of mammary glands and hair 4 lung fish performs respiration with lungs irrespective of being a fish five these examples indicate that mammals have evolved from reptiles and amphibians from fishes question 5 define heredity explain the mechanism of hereditary changes answer 1 heredity is the transfer of biological characters from one generation to another via genes two johann gregor mendel is the pioneer of modern genetics around the period of 1886 it took a long time for him to understand the conclusions for his research about heredity three in 1901 the reasons behind sudden changes were understood due to the mutational theory of hugo de vries four Walter Sutton observed the paired chromosomes in the cells of grasshopper until then it was not known to anyone five later research proved that genes are carried via chromosomes six living organisms can produce new individuals like themselves due to genes only and some of those genes are transmitted to the next generation without any changes seven due to this some of the characters of parents are transmitted to their offspring eight however sometimes sudden changes occur in those genes nine sometimes any nucleotide of the gene changes its position and that causes a minor change which is called as mutation then some mutations may be minor but some may be considerable example mutation may cause the genetic disorder like sickle cell anemia question 6 define vestigial organs write names of some vestigial organs in human body and write the names of those animals in whom same organs are functioning answer 1 degenerated or underdeveloped useless organs of organisms are called as vestigial organs 2 
2. Appendix is a vestigial organ in humans, but it is fully functional in ruminants. 3. Muscles of ear pinna are vestigial in humans, but are useful in monkey for movement of ear pinna. Question 7. Answer the following questions. A. How are the hereditary changes responsible for evolution? Answer 1. Formation of new species due to changes in specific characters of several generations of living organisms as a response to natural selection is called as evolution. 2. At present, crores of species of plants and animals with huge diversity regarding shape and complexity are present on the earth. 3. Animal diversity ranges from the unicellular amoeba and paramoecium to man and giant whale. 4. The plant diversity consists of various species ranging from unicellular chlorella to huge banyan tree. 5. First primitive cell may have been formed from the mixture of different types of organic and inorganic compounds. 6. There may have been some differences among the cells. And according to the principle of natural selection, some may have shown good growth and some may have perished which could not adjust with the surrounding. 7. Sustaining and selected organisms can perform reproduction and thereby give rise to the new species with their own specific characters. B. Explain the process of formation of complex proteins. Answer. 1. Information about protein synthesis is stored in the DNA and synthesis of appropriate proteins as per requirement is necessary for the body. 2. These proteins are synthesized by DNA through the RNA. This is called as central dogma. 3. mRNA is produced as per the sequence of nucleotides on DNA. Only one of the two strands of DNA are used in this process. 4. The sequence of nucleotides in mRNA being produced is always complementary to the DNA strand used for synthesis. This process of RNA synthesis is called transcription. 5. The mRNA formed in the nucleus comes in cytoplasm. It brings in the coded message from DNA. 6. The message contains the codes for amino acids. The code for each amino acid consists of three nucleotides. It is called as triplet codons. 7. mRNA is made up of thousands of triplet codons. 8. As per the message on mRNA, amino acids are supplied by the tRNA. 9. For this purpose, tRNA has anticodon having complementary sequence to the codon on mRNA. This is called as translation. 10. The amino acids brought in by tRNA are bonded together by peptide bonds with the help of rRNA. 11. During this process, the ribosome keeps on moving from one end of the mRNA to the other end by the distance of one triplet codon. This is called as translocation. 12. Many of such chains come together to form complex proteins. C. Explain the theory of evolution and mention the proof supporting it. Answer. 1. According to the theory of evolution, first living material, that is protoplasm, has been formed in ocean. 2. In due course of time, unicellular organism was formed. 3. Gradually, Changes occur in the unicellular organism from which larger and more complex organisms were formed. 4. All those changes were slow and gradual. Duration of all these changes is about 300 crore years. 5. Changes and development in living organisms has been all-round and multidimensional and this led to evolution of different types of organisms. 6. Hence, this overall process is called as evolution, which is organizational. 7. Progressive development of plants and animals from the ancestors having different structural and functional organization is called evolution. 8. 
to support the theory of evolution various types of evidences are available 9 in spite of many adaptive differences in protoplasm and cell the manifestation of life processes like growth reproduction metabolism are essentially same in all organisms 10 morphological evidences support the theory it is seen that all planets have stem root leaf and a green in color and those having green color carry out photosynthesis similarly it is seen that animals have appendages eyes nose ears etc 11 anatomical evidences like the bone structure of a human arm a bull's leg a bat's wing and a whale fin have similar structures attributing that they have developed from common ancestors 12 Vestigial organs like tailbone or coccyx present in humans indicate the link between humans who have lost a tail and monkeys who have a tail. 13 at embryological level similarities are observed during initial stage which indicates common origin. 14 thus there are few evidences which support the fact that evolution is sequential. D explain with suitable examples importance of anatomical evidences in evolution answer 1 there doesn't seem any superficial similarity between a human hand a cat's foreleg flipper of a whale and a patagium of a bat 2 use of each of these structures is different in respective animals 3 however there is a similarity in structure of bones and bony joints in organs of each of these animals four this similarity indicates that these animals show anatomical evolution e define fossil explain importance of fossils as proof of evolution answer one remnants and impressions of organisms which get buried remain preserved underground these are called as fossils Study of fossil is an important aspect of study of evolution. 2. Carbon consumption of animals and plants stops after death and since then only the decaying process of C14 occurs continuously. 3. In case of dead bodies of plants and animals instead of remaining constant the ratio between C14 and C12 changes continuously. as c12 is non radioactive four the time passed since the death of a plant or animal can be calculated by measuring the radioactivity of c14 and the ratio of c14 to c12 present in the body five this is carbon dating method it is used in determining the age of human fossils and manuscripts six once the age of fossil has been determined it becomes easy to deduce information about other erstwhile organisms it seems that vertebrates have been slowly originated from invertebrates f write evolutionary history of modern man answer 1 approximately 7 crore years ago monkey like animals are said to be evolved from some ancestors who were more or less similar to the modern lemurs 2 Tail of this monkey-like animals of Africa is said to have disappeared about 4 crore years ago. 3. Evolution of some of the 2 crore years old species of apes seems to have occurred in different ways. They had to use their hands more for eating food and other work. 4. First human-like animal recorded was Ramapithecus ape from East Africa. 5. This ape grew up in size and became more intelligent and evolved about 40 lakh years ago. Sixth, skilled humans appeared to be the member of genus Homo. Seven, about 15 lakh years ago, humans walking with erect posture evolved and existed in China and Indonesia of Asian continent. Eight, Evolution of upright man continued in the direction of developing its brain for the period of about 1 lakh years. 9. Brain of 50,000 year old man had been sufficiently evolved to the extent that 
it could be considered as member of the class wise man homo sapiens 10th neanderthal man can be considered as example of wise man 11th the cro-magnon man evolved about 50000 years ago and afterwards this evolution had been faster than the earlier